Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Mind Body Blend. We're in the month of June 2023. Our theme of the month is perfecting posture. And it's something that we need to do every day in life is to think about upright posture. Sometimes I'll be walking down the street and I'll see a person that's hunched over like this. And I say, gosh, at what point in their life did that start disintegrating? And when could they have pulled that back and brought it more upright? Things like those postural changes happen very gradually. And sometimes we don't notice those in our body. But I have to tell you, since I've been teaching these classes and I see myself online, I'm noticing the rounding of my shoulders as well. So something we have to really work on every day is expanding through the chest, stretching these really tight muscles and strengthening the upper back. So let's begin with our Tai Chi. And just come on to your mat with your feet maybe, oh, hips distance apart, soften your knees, slightly tuck your tailbone and slightly draw your shoulders back. Bring your hands right in front of you like you have that small ball. And on an inhale, just let your hands separate a little bit. And exhale, bring them together. Did I change my mic? No, I sure didn't. Uh, Linda, it is the same as always. So I'll just try to speak louder. All right, you got your volume up all the way, girl? So this is our open and close. We'll breathe in, expand. Breathe out, contract. And as we're opening and closing our hands, I also want you to think about opening and closing the ribs. So imagine this part of your rib cage expanding out and contracting in. So we can fire these muscles in our rib cage to open out and to contract. Now think about something called shoulder girdle depression, and that is pressing your shoulder blades down your back. So it's the opposite of elevation. Elevation would be to shrug the shoulders up. So sometimes we have to do this for a second and then really push them down, lock them in place as we're doing this shoulder exercise to warm up the shoulders. Fingers are softened, slightly spread apart. Next time you open, look to your right. As you close, look to the center. Look to the left as you open. Keep the shoulder girdle depressed and look center. One more on each side. Expand the ribs, contract, last time to the left. And reach the arms out as far as you can expand, pull the back of your hands back behind you and just rotate your forearms so your thumbs go down and then your palms come up. Now your arms can be a little lower here. This is okay too. And focus on something called shoulder girdle retraction. And that is pulling my shoulder blades together behind me. The opposite of that is shoulder girdle protraction, which means to open the shoulder blades in the back body. One more thumbs down, one more thumbs up. Bring your hands back together to your ball. Come into right ball, stepping onto the ball of, or the bottom of the right foot, the ball of the left. We'll start to roll the ball side to side. 
And as you do, think about good posture, upright body alignment. And where our head goes, our body tends to follow. So if you're looking down at your feet, trying to figure out what you're doing, and you bring your chin down, you're coming out of good posture. So I always like to say eyes on the horizon. One more. Back to right ball. Now make sure you have a little space to move behind. We're going to come into repulse monkey, but staying on the right side. So your left foot will step back. Open your arms and pull up your right toes. Block your front hand. Look back toward your back hand and pull that arm behind you so you're rotating. Then just step forward right back into your right ball position. Tap the toe. Same side. Step back. Open out. Rotate. And step in. Let's add a breath. So a big inhale as you step back. Open. Exhale as you come back into place. So essentially, we're just shifting our body weight to the back foot and back to the front foot. The only foot that moves off the ground is your left foot. Two more repetitions. Pull up the right toes, flex the ankle. Last one. Come back into right ball and roll the ball to the left one time. Now we're in left ball, repulse monkey, right foot steps back. Open, front hand blocks, back palm turns up and we rotate our body to the right. Then step back forward into your left ball. Step back, open. And step forward and close. I like to do these forms repetitively on the same side a lot because you can really focus on each piece of the movement, what the hands are doing, what the legs are doing, all the little nuances that make your Tai Chi form belong to you. All of our bodies move a little differently. Let's do two more repulse monkey. One more. Step back in to left ball and roll the ball one time to the right side. Fair lady works the shuttles only on one side. We'll step out to the diagonal, strike the heel, the hands switch positions, and we block out the sun. Then we'll step back into right ball. So this left hand comes down underneath as we tap back in. Fair Lady works the shuttles, block out the sun, step back, left hand sweeps underneath. You can also add that little preload twist before you go. If you'd like to add the breath, maybe an exhale as you're blocking out and an inhale to come back to position. Warming up the body, one more on each side. And roll the ball. Fair Lady works the shuttles, so we step out with that right foot. The hands change places, we block out the sun. This right hand's going to come down underneath as we come into left ball, tapping the toe. Step out. Block up, sweep the hand under. Take your time, go slow. This is all about mindful movement, helping us with our balance. 
stabilization. You can add that little preload twist. Two more, Fair Lady works the shuttles this side. Last one. Come back into your left ball. Step out to the right, hands to the shoulders. Brush away. Close the feet as you release. Now just stand with really tall posture. Bring your arms out in front of your body. We'll come into shoulder girdle retraction. So what I'm going to do is pull my shoulder blades back and then press them forward. I'm not bending my elbows. I'm just doing this retraction. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind me and then opening them up. So shoulder girdle retraction and protraction. Now make sure your shoulders don't elevate when you do this exercise. Two more. Squeeze back. Release, one more, squeeze back, and release, lower your arms. So remember that feeling of that exercise, and let's pick up weight, moderate to heavy workload, because I want you to feel this shoulder girdle retraction. So we bring our feet about hips distance, we're going to hinge forward, the weights are down. Now I'm not going to bend my elbows, I'm just going to retract my shoulder blades and release. Squeeze back and release. So imagine you had a little pencil down your spine and you're taking your shoulder blades and you're grabbing onto the pencil between your shoulder blades by contracting. Four more. And hesitate there a little bit. Three. Make sure your knees are bent and your spine is neutral. Two. Now retract back. Hold that retraction. Keep that pencil between your shoulder blades and then pull the elbows up and hold. Now really squeeze your shoulder blades tight. Isometric contraction. Now we pulse the elbows up, up, up. We're doing a small movement so we don't lose that shoulder girdle retraction. Fire up your core. 12 more. 10. 8. 6. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Lower the arms down. Rise up. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. What's better than one set? Two. All right, we'll repeat. If you need to switch your weights, be sure to do that. Come into your dead row position here without bending your elbows, just retract. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and release. Now try not to tense up your neck when you're doing this. So relax your jaw. Just let that space between your shoulder blades do the work. Four more. And three. Two. Retract and hold your shoulder blades. Squeeze that imaginary pencil. Pull your elbows up. Stay there. Squeeze, squeeze. Now we pulse up, up, up. My elbows that are about 90 degrees and they're tight into my body, pointing straight back behind me. Relax your neck. 12, 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Release it all the way down. Stand up, 
roll the shoulders. Excellent. Okay, lighter weight. You're gonna need to go a lot lighter for the next one. So just for reference, I had eights and I'm going down to threes. So we have the weights light. Hinge forward again. Retract your shoulder blades like you're holding the pencil and the arms will lift behind you. Up, two, down, two. Hold on to that imaginary pencil as you're elevating the arms behind, working the back of the shoulders. It doesn't take much weight on this one. In fact, you can even do it without holding weight and really feel the work. Now let's hold it there at the top. Squeeze those shoulder blades, stay there. And pulse up. Up, up, zip up your core, 16, 15, 14. Are we feeling this? Wow. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the arms down. Rise up out of the position, roll your shoulders. Can you do one more set? Do you need to change your weights or even set them down to get through the next set? All right, nice tall spine, good posture. Soften your knees, hinge forward from your hips and slowly retract the shoulder blades, pull the arms up and back down. So the only thing that's really moving is my shoulder bone, the arm in the shoulder socket. Everything else is very stable. All right, let's bring it up and hold. Grab that imaginary pencil between your shoulder blades and we'll pulse 16, 15. Really strengthening back of the shoulders and the triceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down and come up. Roll those shoulders out. Ooh. Okay, another set with light weights. We're again in our bent over row position. The arms are down here. Retract your shoulder blades, hold on to that pencil, and we'll open the arms out and down. Now the option for this exercise, if it's too much on your arms, is to bend your elbows out into this wide row. It's a lot easier to squeeze the shoulder blades too if you bend those elbows. So really good option or arms elongated. Four more, try not to let go of the pencil. Three. Now I know you really couldn't hold a pencil between your shoulder blades. It's just a visual to get you to contract the muscles Hold it up, keep the contraction, and we pulse up, up, up. Five, six, seven. Elbows can be bent. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Lower the arms, come up. And you got it, we have one more set. The weights are really heavy, I guarantee you. Set them down, do it just with your arms and you're gonna feel it. Okay, let's soften our knees. Here to start. And we open, out, lower. Shoulder blades retracted. We can bend those elbows, squeeze.
Okay, let's hold it at the top, keep that retraction, and lift, lift. Five, six, seven, eight more to finish this sequence. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down and stand up. Roll the shoulders. Nicely done. All right, set your weights off to the side on those small ones. And let's take a stretch right through the upper back. So uh, lace your hands together, push out, separate the shoulder blades. And this kind of promotes bad posture, but I just want to release any tension that's in those muscles. So we're not gonna hold it long. Just separate. Two more breaths. One more breath. And release down. Okay, working the glute and opening the hip flexor, this helps us with posture. So we're going to stand on the right leg. I'm gonna to turn to face you and I'll mirror. Stand on the right leg, lift your left leg behind. Just hold. So the more we contract this muscle back here, the more the front of the hip will relax. And if you do need some support for balance, you can take that, but I'd rather, if you can, work on your balance on your own here as much as possible. So we're just holding this and squeezing this muscle. Keep breathing. You can do anything you want with your arms. You can even add some weights or add some of those retractions we just did. We're holding 15 more seconds for an approximate one minute. Keep that leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Ooh, shake it out. Standing leg works a lot as well, so we get a lot of hip stability. Stand on your left foot. Lift your right leg behind you and just hold it up there. So whatever angle you can hold it up without bending forward. I want you to keep upright. Keep that leg squeezing the glute. Breathe. Your standing knee can have a little soft bend in it and you're using your own force to squeeze this glute muscle. Back leg is pretty straight and 30 seconds to go. Breathe through, good posture. Twenty seconds. Tighten that muscle. Really good balance work. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Excellent. Let's grab hand weights for squats. So something you want to hold at your chest. You can grab a couple of light ones or maybe one heavy one. So when we take this weight here, I still want you to retract your shoulder blades. So squeeze that together. Take your feet to first position. Zip up your abs. We'll step out into a plie to the right, close first, to the left, close first. Good. Option one, no overhead press, just working the legs. Option two, 
will very lightly elevate right above the head or any height that feels okay for you. So if you have pretty good shoulders, you can press all the way above the head or keep it right in a small range. Transferring weight, side to side, good posture, shoulder blades down. It's up to you how far out you step into your plie and how deeply you take the movement. Now let's stay on the right side only. Right, close, right, close. Now working balance with this movement, you'll add a side leg raise instead of closing in. Down and lift. Good posture, shoulder blades retracted. I feel the heart rate picking up here. Last 10 reps or at whatever pace you're going. No need to count, just feeling that fatigue level. Four, three, Two, close to first position, switch sides, just the plie and close. Nice job. Option for balance. Now make sure you're not really leaning over to this right side to get your leg to come up. So keep the chest up just lift the leg and contract the side of the muscle there on the outer thigh, medial glute. And of course, you can always add those overhead presses. Eight more. Seven. Four, three, two, close to first, step in. Now if we take that plie and our wide second, we can do opposite legs alternating. So it's down, lift right, down, lift left. Plie, lift, plie, lift. Option, any amount above the head. You can also do a bicep curl, bringing it down for a change of upper body work. Glue those shoulder blades together, holding onto that pencil, shifting your body weight side to side, good balance work. Toes are turned out. 10 more, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, and one, plie down and up, five, four, Three, two, and rest arms down. Nicely done. Set that weight down. You'll need two light weights, something for front shoulder raises. Now, when we lift our arms forward, there's a tendency to round our back. So I want you to keep this retraction as the arms are coming forward with that light weight. So retract back and lift your arms and lower down. Excellent. 
Now remember the leg lift we did to the beat to the back. Step your right foot forward. And as you lift your arms, lift the leg to the back. Lift, squeeze your glute. Up and down. Eight more. Squeezing the buttocks releases the hip flexor. Seven. Squeeze that pencil. Six. Five. Good balance on that front foot. Four. Three. Exhale. Last one, maybe you can hold it. And let it go. All right, let's do the other side. Roll your shoulders a little bit to take a break for your arms. Adjusting your workload if you need to, your left foot is in front. We'll lift the arms. And then add the leg with it. up and down. Now maybe your balance is pretty solid today that you don't need to tap your foot all the way to the floor. You can keep it up off the ground. Shoulder blades back, recheck. And a few more. We've got six to go. First focus is squeezing that glute muscle. Second focus is core control. Third focus is shoulder blade retraction. Two more, eyes on the horizon, and last one, and relax down. Good, take your small weights with you, come down onto your mat, and I need my blanket for my knees. So we're gonna be in all fours position for spinal balance. S small weights are close by so you can e easily grab them. Take your right leg back, bend your knee and flex your foot right up to the ceiling. And we'll lift the leg lower part way down. So this again is moving into the glute to free up our hip flexor. Keep your core nice and engaged. Now your option for balance and upper body work is to pick up the weight in your left hand and bring the elbow up and hold it up there, squeezing your shoulder blade, or we can lift and lower. We're not coming all the way down with either limb. We're balanced on the right hand and the left knee we're working the right glute and the left shoulder and upper back. Neutral head position. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Set the weight down. Bring that knee back to the mat. Round your back up into cat stretch. Take a break for the lower back. Come back to neutral spine. Send your left leg behind you. Bend your knee, flex your foot, and we'll squeeze up part way down. Option to pick up your weight in your right hand. Bend your elbow. 
bring it up and we can lift lower part way down lift lower I love to throw in our bird dog our spinal balance whenever we have the opportunity it was one of those top five exercises in the New York Times article so good for our balance and our aging six five four three two and one set the weight down left knee finds the mat round up into cat stretch so those were short lever exercises on both limbs now we're going to take it into a long lever so come back to your neutral spine take your right leg back this time your leg is straight lift lower halfway down really squeeze your glute to free up your hip flexor your left arm because the weight we bring it straight up next to the side of the body retracting the shoulder blade we can lift that arm up down up down now of course your options are to go back to short lever you can bend your elbow you can even bend your knee six five four three two one Weight comes down, knee comes down, cat stretch. Back to neutral. Left leg straight back, parallel leg, lift part way down. Pick up the weight in your right hand. Straight arm next to the side of the body. We can lift up down check in on that shoulder girdle retraction make sure the abs are really engaged so you're not arching your back lift exhale each time you lift six five four three two last one weight is down set your knee to the mat cat stretch did you hear me treacle say cat stretch you came out to do a cat stretch with me all right excellent job everybody we're coming down onto our backs for core stabilization Again, you'll need light hand weights if you choose to use them. Those are by your side. Okay, if you have low back problems, I want you to tuck a little blanket or something under your lower back. So level one, one foot stays on the floor at all times as we send the right leg forward and then the left leg forward low back imprinted level two knees are up in table take your hands right here to the knees and push your knees toward your hands and your hands toward your knees and keep everything really engaged then send the right leg away and in left leg away and in you can also do this with a bent knee so you can bring the toe down to the mat and the left toe and again if you need those feet on the floor to help you brace your lower back absolutely fine each time my knees are coming toward my hands i'm giving a little push to help me create some resistance
one more each side. And then we'll rest those feet down. Grab your weights, bringing them up. So it's light. Right arm reaches any amount toward the top of the head and comes back in. Left arm and bring it in. So we're using our lat muscle, a little bit of the tricep. If this exercise is not okay for your shoulder, then you do a tricep extension by bending your elbow and straightening up. We just take that movement from a long lever to a short lever. So we're going to combine the last exercise. So as the right arm goes, the left leg goes out and then opposites. Knees can be in table as well. Right arm, left leg. So this is bird dog flipped upside down. It's opposite hand and leg extending as we're in a tabletop, but we're on our back. We have four more each side. Modify with the options that work best for your body. Three more each side. Two. One more each side. Back to center, set your feet back down if they're up into bridge or if they're in table, but we're going to lift into bridge. So hips are up off the mat. Open your right arm out to the side and your left arm out to the side. Holding that bridge, open right, open left. Hips can be up at any height that works good for your low back, for your body. You can also cut back the range of motion on the single arm chest fly. One more each side. Lower those hips down, short break. Bring your feet closer together. <clears throat> lift back up into a bridge. If you can, lift your left leg up to table. So you're in bridge. Your right arm only opens out and in. We have eight of these with the right arm. Two. Three. Hips are level, four, five, keep that hip up, six, two more, seven, why well, I'm feeling this in that right leg, eight, set that left foot back down to the floor, Lower down from your bridge for a moment. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press back up into bridge. Lift your right leg up. Hold it in tabletop. Open out the left arm. Eight. And close. Seven. Six. Five, 
Hips are level, nice and squared and lifted. Firing the glute, opening up the hip flexor. Big theme of our class today. Two. And one, right foot comes down, hips lower. Relax your arms for a moment. So we are going to do two different things with our arms. You're going to modify if you need to, of course. So with your arms up, as the right arm is going out, the left arm is going any amount above your head, and then you're pulling back in. So just do one more to practice that. And then we'll be doing this in bridge or single leg bridge. So hips are up. Option for your left foot to be off the floor and table. Opening the right arm out, the left arm over the head. Inhale. And close back in. Seven. And remember your option for going over your head is bending your elbow into a tricep extension. Five more. Four. Your arms are making a nice L shape. Three. Hips up a little higher. Two. And one. Set your left foot back down, lower down from bridge. Relax your arms for a moment. Let's practice the arms on the other side. Left arm goes out, right arm goes up. We'll just do two. One more. Then lift up into bridge or single leg bridge. The right foot comes off the floor into table. Left arm opens, right arm goes over the head. We have eight. And seven. There's a lot going on here, so be sure that you modify anything that isn't working good for your body. Five. Four. Hips a little higher. Three. Nice job, everybody. Last two. And one, set that right foot down, come down from bridge, and release your weights by your side. Bend your elbows about 90 degrees and set them firmly to the floor next to your body. Your fingertips are pointing up to the ceiling. We'll drop the knees over to the right to twist, and then over to the left to twist. So level one, your feet are on the floor for this rotation for your obliques. And it's a great exercise to keep those feet down. No worries. Level two, we're going to head and pick up feet off the floor. Drop the knees over to the side. And switch. So we're only going the amount that our spine can twist without letting our shoulder blades come off the floor. Oblique rotations. You might be getting a nice stretch through the chest as well in this position for the upper body. And let's take it one more each side. And then back to table, set the feet back down, and relax. Time to stretch out our glutes. Hi, kitty. So we did a lot of glute work that release our hip flexors. Let's do our figure four stretch. We'll cross our right ankle over the left and lift those knees up toward the chest. 
Wow, I'm a lot tighter than I thought I would be here today. So let's hold our figure four stretch. You can use your arms to assist, or you can use the underside leg to push forward and just relax your arms. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Bring your awareness to your body and your breath. Beginning to wind down the work and to relax and allow the muscles to lengthen. One more breath here in figure four. And let our left foot come back to the floor. Extend the right leg up into a hamstring stretch. If you have your yoga strap close, you can wrap that under the bottom of your foot. And if you're really tight today back here, you can bend your knee a little bit to bring it in toward you. Find a nice release. Maybe go a little deeper for two more breaths. And exhale to lower the leg. The foot comes down to the mat. We'll cross the left ankle over the right thigh. This helps to rotate our hip. And then when we draw the knees up, we have that hip flexion and rotation at the same time. So really nice stretch for the deep external rotators of the hips. Then relax and breathe. Noticing any difference between the right side of your body and the left. Just being aware. No judgment. One more breath. Exhale, lower your right leg down. Left leg extends up, hamstring stretch. When you're stretching your hamstrings, you can always flex and point the ankle or do some circles or just hold your foot relaxed. Hug that leg in toward you. And we breathe. We breathe slowly to create a response in our neuromuscular system that helps us to relax. See if we can take it a little deeper for two more breaths. And then lower that leg down, roll over to your side. Press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, maybe cross leg pose or sit on a blanket and just sit tall with good posture. We'll bring our hands in front of us as we did standing today. As we inhale to open, look to the right side. Close and look center. Look left. And center. Now just open both arms, extend out. 
Rotate the thumbs down and up. Up and hold. Inhale, lift the arms. Press the palms and draw the thumbs into the heart. We close our eyes for a moment to close our class today. Celebrating our hard work and that continued consistency of strengthening our mind and our body. Such a pleasure to instruct you this morning. Namaste. Thank you, Lisa Bug crew. I'll turn off our recording. If you can hang out for a few minutes, that would be fantastic. You can have a little chat and see how the workout felt. See how your posture is looking today. <laughs>